refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut up, Barry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Oscar Mavis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Velas. Well, boys, what a fucking finish. First of all, welcome to Dan and Den TV. Make sure you tune in live. I'm joking, nah. No. What a finish, man. Fucking no, excited brilliant. for my. Oh, shit. No. God, no. Yeah, go. <laughs> hey, he's a bit excited, but no, that was a wicked finish, man. Um, we were we was shouting that, screaming it from the beginning, over the top, over the top. Took seven rounds, but bloody hell, what a KO. How the fight, or how you thought the fight would play out, and how it did for the seven rounds before the finish? Did, did they kind of compare? No, I thought it was going to be all Ellis, to be honest. So, Jose had done his thing. I've got to give credit to him. I didn't expect that from him. I didn't, I didn't think he had that much left in the tank. He showed that he did. Of course, Ellis took a round off here and there, and that allowed Jose to get a bit comfortable, thinking that, yeah, Ellis is dying out so he, he can come and land his shots. And, you know, Mark, I see him doing some little twisty thing with his hand and that. But then, yeah, he's just getting confident. And I was just, obviously, we're just screaming at Ellis, like, don't let him get confident. Because once you pull it on him, he's going to fold. As soon as he landed in with, a, with, with the clean shot, the clean right hand that was screaming from the first 10 seconds of, of, of the first round, that, that was, like, like he said, that was all she wrote, it was game over. It, it, it took him out the first one, he got back up the second one, just took him out. Yeah, I mean, I can tell you were buzzing. This whole arena was buzzing. Um, you, he lost it in the first round. I was like, rah, man. Just, just, just by screaming from the right hand, voice is gone. Yeah. Do you know what, though? This is a proper British boxing night, this, isn't it? York Hall, packed. Two sets of fans were vocal and a good fight to match. This is one of them where you walk away and go, and we was a, we was a, a good British boxing night tonight. No, definitely, for sure. Um, I miss these days, man. You know, You're big time now, aren't you? You don't Denzel, get... Denzel, Denzel's big time, not me. I said, listen, I would love to box here again. You know, I think he's, he's too big for it. But yeah, no, we definitely... <laughs> <laughs> guys want every single belt there is to win. He's talking about, I'm big time. Loud it, bro. Loud it. Yeah, no, it was a wicked fight, man. I'm just well happy and pleased, man. Ellis used to go to the same school as my sister. I've known him from when he was young. I don't even know how he got that big. He used to be this small, scrawny little kid. And now, yeah, I swear to you, now he's like a big cruiserweight and he's a force, man, to be reckoned with, man. That was a brilliant finish and I'm bare happy for him. Boys, thanks for giving me some of your time. I'll speak to you properly tomorrow. See you at the. You at the what Peacock tomorrow, me, Dan? You at the Peacock tomorrow? <laughs> what about me? Well, you going... took the whole interview. You took the whole interview, bro. No, you I, actually. I, I was saying it one by one. <laughs> See you later, hey, Dan. Dan and then TV signing out. <laughs>